When I was 15 years old, I was hit by a car. Merry Christmas, Aja. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas from Full Tiny House. Perfect. Okay, with Bella. Yeah. Right. Merry Christmas from Days RV Life. And Merry Christmas from Bella. Can't forget Bella. She's there the you star. Go. Merry Christmas, Dave. Merry Christmas, Bella. Thank you. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas from Destination Open Road. Henry. Hi, Henry. Hey, Henry. We want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Right now, we are at the Ehrenberg cleanup, and hopefully we'll be doing our part to help clean up Ehrenberg and clean up the, you know, the BLM land here. I guess there's a lot of garbage here. I actually watched a video earlier today by Beach Cricket, uh, Shuttle Babe, and it was quite enlightening. <laughs> and I wanted to start by just uh, giving a little background about myself. Uh, my parents came from Italy, Sicily to be precise, and um, they moved, after they got married, they moved to Canada, and that's where I was born. I was born in Montreal, Canada. And we lived in Montreal for, I think, about three or four years. And then after that, we moved to Toronto, Canada. And in 1970, we moved to Buffalo, New York. And that's pretty much um, where I spent my early childhood. And during that time, um, I didn't know much English. I was... Um, pretty much an oddball if you if you like I mean I think I, a lot of kids picked on me because I didn't know the language very well uh, it took me a long time to learn English because at home my parents just talked uh, Italian to me so I never really learned um, English until later on so as a result like I said um, it was a bit of a problem for me I was kind of a, a little bit behind in school because of that for a while and Really, things didn't start changing until I was about maybe 12 years old or so. That's when I started to pick up the language a little better. I think I was in sixth grade, and you know I had some teachers that were really good, and I started getting interested in certain topics, and you know, and I started reading more, and as a result, my English became a lot better, and I started doing better in school as a result. Now you can't even tell that he his first language was Italian. You can't? I don't think so. Okay. Well, not, not with an accent, anyways. Right, I think I'm pretty good now with English, although there's sometimes I think you'll, you'll think that <laughs> you might differ with that because of some of the words that I use. But. Sometimes he'll say things a little differently than we might say. Like he'll say, it's 40 after 3, instead of we would say 340. But uh, yeah, that's that's part of my early history of uh, when I was a kid, and hopefully that gives everybody a little bit of an insight, a little bit more about me. Also, another thing I'd like to uh, I'd like to uh, talk about is um, <laughs> I think in the videos a lot of times it, um, it's come out, you know, that I'm. I've been anxious in a lot of some of these some of these videos when I'm driving. It seems like, and I or get when I'm driving. or when Sharon's <laughs> driving, and a lot of times, you know, I, I might have been, especially when we first started out, a little bit hesitant about driving the truck, and the, the reason for that is, or even pulling the fifth wheel. But um, the reason for that is, I had never driven a truck before. 
before before we started any of this, Sharon had actually she had a little bit of experience driving a truck. She I, I think you drove a coffee truck, is that right? Mm -hmm. And um, also there is another thing too. Um, when I was 15 years old, I was hit by a car, and I was riding my bike at the time when it happened, and that was a pretty traumatic experience and. Took me a long time to get over that, and then a little bit later on, uh, when I was um, a little a little later on, some years after that, I was going somewhere with my dad with my dad, and we got into uh, an incident there where somebody went through a red light and hit our vehicle and and, and totaled it, and. Actually, we had our seatbelts on that day. And back then, there there was no law to, uh, in New York State uh, to have your seatbelt on. But that particular day, something, someone told something, or someone told me to put our seatbelts on. And luckily, we did. You know, I, I remember telling my dad, I said, "Dad, why don't we just put on our seatbelts today? Because I don't know, it, it might be a good idea to put on our seatbelts." And luckily, we did because the way that other car struck our vehicle, I'm not sure whether how much worse we would have fared in that in that particular incident so because of those two things a lot of times I might show a lot more anxiety when I'm driving or when Sharon's driving it was bad enough in a regular car but now I'm driving a, 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 a we're pulling a fifth wheel so and I'm still not that used to that, although I'm getting better at it, and it might be a little bit more anxious for me sometimes. So that's what's going on, guys. If you see me a little bit uh, nervous when I'm when I'm driving. Okay, and the other thing we wanted to cover is uh, we've had people sometimes ask us how we met and how we got married and things like that. So. We were just going to do a quick overview of our relationship, and we um, we met online on Match.com, and <laughs> and we communicated for a while, and then we didn't date right away. We became friends, casual friends, and then Sal ended up working for me at the place I worked at. And I was his supervisor, and because of that, we got to know each other a little better. And he eventually did ask me out. And the reason he didn't ask me out was because um, I was a raw fooder, and <laughs> <laughs> he thought it would be kind of odd to take me to dinner at his family's house because they used to have a lot of family dinners. A lot of family dinners, yeah. It would kind of be weird to bring somebody who was a raw fooder who didn't eat pasta. <laughs> so. But then we did end up dating and eventually got married. So we got married in 2011. So we did date for quite a while before we got married. We were engaged for five years, I think, before we got married. So, so that's just a little overview of how we met and ended up together. And we want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. We hope you have a good holiday. We'll be here at the Ehrenberg Cleanup. 2018 for Christmas. It's Christmas Eve now and we're going to post this tomorrow on Christmas Day. So we're here and the cats would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. So Henry wants to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody but from Henry. <laughs> Seymour wants to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Right, Kurt? Right, Seymour? Merry Christmas, everybody, from Seymour. And Alexander, Allie, would like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from Allie. Right, Allie? Okay. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Dana. Merry Christmas to you and Sharon. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh, we got to do that over. I had my lipstick in there. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Christmas.
from destination to open door. <laughs> 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 like we've never been on yeah. camera before. Yeah. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. A coffee cup, a trophy. To see all the garbage that's that's here on this land. Yeah. So, you just looked out the window. Oh no, I was looking at, at you. You didn't look out the window at the book? I, I was looking did. at you and then I was going back to camera and I saw somebody walking by. So okay. you did look out the window. Alright. 